We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Christian Haynes, UConn, right guard, and he's one of my favorite guard prospects in this draft class. I have an early second round grade on him. Love his explosiveness. He's a really, really good athlete. His ability to explode out of his stance laterally, cut people off in the run game, get some nice reach blocks going. And, you know, for a guy that's being under, like, he's pretty undersized, he's got some good length to go with that, which definitely helps him out. And he plays with a nastiness streak. He can definitely bully some people, throw some, throw some torque out there. Definitely more of a zone scheme guy. Uh, plays with pretty good IQ. Really excels out in space. Really, really enjoy his game. I think, you know, there's times where his lack of size, maybe he can get the better of him where he has to, like, overextend. He tries to, you know, overdo things because of that lack of size. But you really get to watch him just work in that, you know, with his athleticism. And it's exciting to watch. He is able to do things very, very well that most of the guards in this class can't. Uh, definitely one of my top guys at the, the guard position, I think. You know, I think Fatanu, who can play tackle and guard, is definitely at the top for me. And then Barden, but then right after that, Christian Haynes. Really, and really, really enjoy watching him go to work in these things. Because, you know, look at this play. This, you know, guy's basically slight shaded to the outside. He gets off the ball, explodes, pushes that right hand out there to slow this D-tackle down to allow his right tackle to cut him off. But then it's still, you know, eyes to the linebacker, explode out, takes a great angle, cut him off, get your hips across. Now you're just sealing, holding on to this. And uh, now you're slowing him down, basically anchoring out in the open field. He plays with a pretty good anchor too in path protection. Pretty good hand usage overall for the most part. Maybe sometimes he could be a little bit more consistent in those areas. But I feel like overall, like he's pretty well-rounded from an athletic standpoint, a technical standpoint. Plays with some good physicality, better play strength than his size would indicate, which is always huge. And yeah, I just feel like he's one of the guys that I feel the strongest about in this class, just being successful at the next level. Like, I feel like there's a plenty of safe prospects, especially if he ends up in one of those, you know, zone heavy schemes. Like, I really, like, I'm a Dolphins fan. I would love him at 55. He'd be the ideal guard pick at 55. Because plays like this are very, very common, littered all over the tape. It's him just moving out in the open field. He does a good job of sustaining, getting those hands in good place, and then just get your hips across to seal these guys off. It's all about positioning. And he just does those types of plays with ease like look at this one this is this is a nose this is a zero technique he's the right guard and he's able to reach him so quickly get off the ball explode into him he gets a little bit of help from the center you know obviously you know working on these outside zone concepts he attacks the inside half and then look at him able to just get those hips across instantly to get into this position this is not easy to scoop someone like this reach block get your hands hips exactly where you want and then he is able to still, after doing all of that, still torque him and throw him to the ground to finish. And if it wasn't for his block, like which he should not be able to make this. This is like asking him to do the toughest job on the field right now, for sure. Um, to reach him, from, especially on the backside of this run. Because if he doesn't reach him like that, this guy's going to be in a perfect position to make a play on this. And the running back's going to have to uh, really make like a hard read, whether to you know bounce it out, uh, bend it to the back. But it just gets a huge hole open up because Haynes is able to get out there so fast it's honestly amazing his lateral quickness is super super impressive love watching him go to work i love when there's like elite athletes at the offensive line position some of my favorite players to watch and he also just plays with the nastiness to him he can torque people he does a good job sustaining he'll even get some displacement out there like i do think sometimes his hands get a little wide and he exposes his chest which can get him into trouble at times especially more so in pass protection but he's still able to just get out there boom Torque, get this guy to the ground, finish, love that. Um, that's the type of stuff that you like to see. He really uh, definitely plays with some nastiness to his game. I do think, you know, that can get him maybe into trouble in certain situations. But for a smaller, undersized guy that is known for his athleticism, I love seeing stuff like that on his film. That's definitely important. And then he just does a pretty good job in pass protection. Definitely with, you see the athleticism show off in pass protection. He has the feet to mirror, match, recover. You can see him just get back and forth he also does a good job with uh, like i think you know sometimes he gets over the top he gets slightly out of position balance wise so he has to recover but i think he does a good job hand fighting and then swatting down he does a good job he has like a snatch and trap technique too like if the guy loses his leverage like he will finish him to the ground like that so that's another nicety to his game he has some subtle nuances too definitely combines his lower half with his upper half and then if he faces like so if the guy's you know trying to do for more finesse like this defensive tackle but if he's facing someone who's trying to hit him with some more power, he does play with pretty good anchor. He has the pad, natural pad level from being on the shorter side. Plays with good leverage. All the things you like to see. That's why I like. I don't mind having two uh, 
have an undersized guard like that, especially in his own scheme, and a guy that also has good length for his size, which Haynes does. And then passing off twists and stunts, like I think he can do a better job with his hands here on the, you know, on the loop guy, but he crashes it. The guy that's crashing down, throw him off to the tackle really well, and then get back over late. I think he gets a little wide uh, and gets that hand to the back here, but at least that inside hand is in a decent spot to shield him off and then uh, torque him out the club. I just think in this position, like this could easily look like holding to a ref. It doesn't, it isn't holding, but because of how the defensive lineman ends up playing it, but he does a really uh, good job at least recognizing. I think these things are important. It's just better hand placement overall. So this is, you know, the type of play where you can definitely see the positives. You can see him showing some good ID of twists and stunts. He still finishes the guy off, even though his technique wasn't perfect on that play, which uh, I think that's something he can work on at times. Boom. Here we get to see him, you know, pulling out in space and, you know, running some toss stuff, working some pin pull action. You just see him go out and save space. He thinks, you know, he might kick this guy out, but then he sees that, you know, uh, that receiver's kicking him out. So he just gets his eyes back out. Find, you know, the guy at the next level. Throw your shoulder into him. So good job making an adjustment, you know, uh, not knowing who he's going to block at first, but then finding the, his guy and throwing his body into him, which helps them pick up the first down. Those are the things I like seeing out of Haynes working out in space. There's a lot of plays. Like, I, I didn't end up showing it from Tennessee because I feel like that's more likely to get copyrighted, so I didn't show the Tennessee plays that I had because um, it's from the SEC. But, yeah, it's uh, there was plenty of plays in those games where you can see the explosiveness going against SEC opponents and making some guys out there that are NFL-level players look silly. Haynes at the right guard position. Again, I mean, all this will be at right guard. I think, you know, he's definitely a guard at the next level. Love this rep, how he absolutely gets engaged, really gets aggressive. You can see he has some power in his hands. He's got good grip strength when he has his good hand placement and, you know, good timing. But he has that power in the upper half to toss that guy, like, throws him out like nothing. And then, you know, the guy that's looping around ends up looping into the center, which so he doesn't have to, like, instantly get into him. But he's still able to get his body back across, bring his hips with it, good hand placement. And then now that he's back in control after, you know, this guy loops around super far, He's able to still torque him, throw him to the ground. It kind of gets cut off here, but he's definitely finishing this guy. Love that nastiness of a play style from Christian Haynes. Another example of here of Haynes just getting out in space, making a play. First, Payton Wilson, who's you know probably one of the best linebackers in this class. Uh, a little bit of a different example. A lot of these plays were him from the backside and being on the backside of a run, being able to cut people off, which is always important. But you know when you're on the front side like this, you can get the reach, try to capture the edge. But there's a lot of times where you just get and you square someone up. And you just want to kick them out and he just you know is able to sustain drive his block hold on to it for long enough uh he's uncovered here so we you know we've seen him reach get to the linebackers cut them off we've seen him reach get to the defensive linemen cut them off when they have the natural leverage advantage now you just see him just completely uncovered doesn't have to like worry about a defensive lineman at all just get to the second level right away get engaged with the linebacker drive uh takes a good angle to get to him a lot of times you know linemen can struggle in these situations like yeah you want to see them block them, but so they can struggle to like get good hands on them, like especially against athletic linebackers like Peyton Wilson, where they can avoid. But Haynes does a great job of squaring him up, sustaining, which allows his running back to easily get into the end zone. So love that type of work from Christian Haynes. Love seeing him torque and finish. Like I think this is from the Michigan 2022 film, and his game versus Michigan in 2022 was really, really impressive, which is big time, you know, going against top tier programs i think he definitely showed out being at uconn you're not always facing the top top teams but he definitely when he did he definitely showed out played bigger than his size torquing people gets a little help from the center here but once he knocks the guys off balance he finish uh sustains the whole time displaces which is a big time thing you know for a guy that's more of his own runner and here you know he's not like reaching him cutting him off he just throws him out the club which i absolutely love to see that sort of play style from haynes really really good stuff and then the the explosiveness this is the last play that we're taking a look at here look at him get out here you know he's got a three technique to his side um he's hoping that the right tackle you know cuts him off he has to get out to this linebacker who's head up with him when a linebacker's head up with you and they got this much space to work with the guard should never be able to cut them off like if they have any sort of instincts so this they both explode off the ball Haynes beats him and look at the angle he takes perfectly to square him up and now that he's engaged, he gets his hips across. So if this is blocked up like a little bit better here from these guys, he's going to hit through and hit a lane. Haynes does his job to perfection. You should not be able to do that 
those types of plays are super, super special from a guard, and that's why I'm just a huge fan of what he brings to the table. Uh, especially love his fit in those zone schemes. As a Dolphins fan, he's probably the guard I want the most, honestly. Like at this point, because I think you get him in the second round, I think he's definitely the best second round guard, and you can still get you know another position of value in the first. So if you just do, you like, come and subscribe. Let's get it up. Peace.